Hello all, welcome back to Tech Capture. So in this video, we are going to see what is streaming buffer in BigQuery. So that is very important and easy concept in BigQuery. So you might have faced some issues related to a streaming buffer and that is the reason you might be looking for understanding what is the streaming buffer. So do not worry, in this video, I'll try to explain what is streaming buffer and at the end of the video, you will understand what is the streaming buffer and what are the issues you are related to streaming buffer. Okay, so let's first understand before understanding the streaming buffer, let's first understand the two small concept. First is BigQuery is a columnar storage. Okay, so whenever we are storing data in traditional database, so if there are 100 records, the each records is stored row by row. So first row will go in a particular block of memory of the server. Second will go in the second block of the server so in this way it will store a record by record not a column by column but BigQuery stored the data column by column so suppose there are 100 columns then each column is stored in a different block of memory okay so that is why the reason we don't use the star operation select star operation in BigQuery for faster result and for better performance you we use a select and then column names so this is a basic concept that is BigQuery is a columnar storage now this is easier or efficient when we want to read data huge amount of data from the BigQuery but suppose we want to just insert a streaming data into BigQuery so this columnar storage is not efficient so if you keep inserting data directly into this uh, columnar storage it is bit inefficient or it will not work perfectly that is why there is a streaming buffer concept now what is streaming buffer so whenever you are inserting data into BigQuery as a streaming data it will not directly go to your columnar storage okay or your uh, permanent storage of your table so before it will go to the streaming buffer that is like relational kind of uh, row level storage you can see the table format here and data will be stay there for 90 minutes and after 90 minutes your data will go to your columnar storage that is your uh, actual storage of the BigQuery now understand whenever you inserted data and you are reading from the table it will allow you to read from the streaming buffer as well there is no issue in the read but suppose if you want to you inserted just data and you realized okay this data is not correct and I want to update the data you cannot update this data for 90 minutes because it is in the streaming buffer you cannot delete the data because it is in the streaming buffer so you have to wait for 90 minutes so go data into your columnar storage and from there you can do your DML operation that is delete or update and if you try to delete when it is in streaming buffer you will get an error so what is the error so this is the common error you will get that update or delete statement over table XYZ would affect rows in the streaming buffer which is not supported and this is the error most of the people face but one thing again to understand when we should get this error or when we get this error or when the data will go to the streaming buffer if I am loading the data using my CSV file it will go to streaming buffer no it will not go because it will load as a load job not as a streaming insert but suppose if I am loading data using my Python code or any kind of coding and continuously pushing the data into the query table then yes it will go into streaming buffer your log messages from the pub sub will go to the streaming insert so all kind of the stream operation or insert operation will go to the streaming buffer not as a load job okay so I will show you the practical demo for both when the data will go to streaming insert and when we will face this issue and when data will not go to the streaming buffer and we can do this kind of DML operation so don't worry I'll explain in a live example okay so I'll go to my Google Cloud console now so I am in my Google Cloud console let me first go to the BigQuery and I'll create one a data set okay <coughs> so here I will create one a data set for me okay so I'll just create one data set I'll just give the name as a streaming buffer demo okay or I'll just keep it short sb underscore demo okay and I'll just create data set so it will create me a data set sb underscore demo okay now what I will do I have one python script which will load a stream data into this sb demo now there is no table but my will uh, my script will handle that as well it will create the table and then load data into this data set so let me just 
open a cloud shell so I'll share the Python script as well with you so do not worry on that so I am in my cloud shell so here I created one folder streaming buffer and inside this I have two script one is a streaming buffer dot py another not a script is a csv file so first what I will do I will just load the data using my python script okay we'll just insert the data let me first show you what my python script is doing okay so this is my python script and you can simply see it is just defining that schema it is defining the table so let me change the table name here okay so now my data set name is changed so my data set name is now sb underscore demo okay and uh, table name here yeah, streaming buffer I can keep it as this way so it is creating the table you can see create table and also it is inserting the row so it is inserting two rows okay and you can see the option it use insert rows json okay so it is inserting the row and once it is inserted it will print the message okay so let's let's execute it okay so I will I'll just execute the script now okay rows have been successfully inserted into streaming buffer so now let's see so I, I can directly see here as well but I have to reload my page because here we do not have option to refresh so I'll just let me see refresh content we have here yeah so we refreshed and this stf demo is here now so let's see this table now okay so we have this table table is created and we have these three columns if you see in the preview so in the preview also we'll see a data so we can see the data now i want to query this data i'll just do a query i'll just add select star uh, because there are only two records and let me just execute and you will see the data now I want to delete I just don't want this user one I want to do it as a user three or something or my name okay so what I will do I'll just execute or I want to just delete the record so I'll just create one delete statement okay I just want to delete one record so I'll just copy it where user id is equal to user1 ok so I want to delete this record so let me just execute ok two forms are there okay now this is what we are looking for update or delete statement over the table would affect rows in the streaming buffer which is not supported it means this data is not available in the table permanent storage yet so how we can verify that without executing this query or without facing an error how we'll understand that okay data is still in the streaming buffer so if you open the table okay so if you go to schema if you go to details now you can see storage so storage info you do not see any rows so it should show two rows but now you can see zero rows zero data nothing is there in the storage but if I go here in streaming buffer you can see there are two rows in streaming buffer and this is like estimated size of the streaming buffer so I cannot delete or update the data until the data is here in the streaming buffer so when I can update so I can update it when it will cross a 90 minutes okay so what I will do now I will just try to see the time okay so let me just show here I'll just see the time so currently time is a 555 so it means almost to 6 so I can try to delete data at 730 okay and it should allow me to delete the data after 90 minutes so I will add that part of the video as well so I will create one part of the video after uh, one and I mean 90 minutes okay and then I will 
add that part as well it should allow me and data should be visible in storage info okay so that is how streaming buffer work but i will show you the different way now so this was not allowing us data to be deleted or updated because it is loaded through the python script now i will load data using one csv file so i have one csv file here data dot csv okay let me show you that so this is having kind of four columns and uh, some values so i will just execute i have query as well for loading okay so i will use bq load and the table name now i will again change storing before demo and now i will just name it as a my table okay and let me again now it will create a load job so let me show you that once i enter you can see upload complete waiting bq load job so it created a load job and current status is done okay so it's loaded data using the load job so let me come here and refresh the content okay my table and if i go to my table and if i go to details you can see all records directly in the storage they are not in the streaming buffer you do not see any streaming buffer option if i scroll down there is no option data is directly in the streaming buffer and if i go and try to delete it will allow me to delete without any issue so first let me just execute a select statement okay and let me execute now a delete statement okay and i'll just give the condition age is equal to 30 so the first john should be deleted i missed where okay statement report one row so let me execute and now it should have it should not have the john okay so we removed john so in this way we we can see the data in streaming buffer and now you would understand why you face an issue whenever you try to update or modify data immediately so in job history if i go to job history the wrong one so i was referring to this one so this loaded as a bad job you can see the type is a load and if i open this you can see source format csv so it loaded as a csv file using a load job but you not see the job for uh, the insert which was loaded using the python you can see there you don't see anything so timing you can see now older one so that was the streaming insert okay and these were the load jobs so this is the different when we sh will face the streaming buffer issue and when we will not face and the streaming buffer issue so hope you understand what is a streaming buffer now and if you want more details actually on a theoretical concept of the streaming buffer there is a blog so i can share you this blog link as well where they have mentioned if you want to give someone the proof from the documentation you might not see a exact on the streaming buffer but this is the google blog and you can see here the BigQuery support bulk modification of the table via data manipulation statements such that update and delete to avoid consistency issue dml statements are not allowed on the table with an active streaming buffer so it is not allowed so this is not an issue something from your end this is from the google bigquery problem or feature whatever we call it so that is because of the streaming buffer so you can show this blog i will add this blog link as well in the description and then we'll see you in the next video so if you face any issue just let me know in comment section i will share this python script and the csv file as well as this blog link in my description so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again in the next video